whose undiscovered hands of talent have been carrying away your empty cups to frustration. Mark well this lad, remember it. His is the undiscovered soul of our time. Beneath this rich, dark humility lies the creative soul of talent. Beautiful. Bring me an espresso, Walter. Dan, <laughs> you're Dan. Hey, congrats on the cat, Walter. Wonder where you got the idea of dead animals. Huh? I believe he is accusing you of plagiarism. Not only that, talk. Oh, nonsense. Your work just hits a viewer over the head. It's so obvious. I get it, Walter. <laughs> what do you get? Your work. The layers of irony. Oh, she's right, man. <laughs> hey, Bob, what's happening? Well, everybody makes a big deal of the piece. I heard he shoot. He made a cat. Now it's plastic. Yeah, right. I'm out of here. What is going on? Why can't we get some service here? Huh? Come clear off our table, take my five soldiers, please! Somebody! What is going on? It's all so exciting. Didn't you see the what? dead cat? Did you hear about dead cat? They're saying that bus boy, while well, he pays the needed. They're saying he's a master of his medium. <laughs> really? Dead cat, eh? Did you hear Mr. DeSantis? Everybody's crazy about dead cats. Yes, they are, aren't they? Look, Walter, you must be tired. Why don't you uh, head home early? You've got to come. Oh, I, I don't no, no, it's fine. You came in early. Besides, you're creating a disturbance, and uh, folks don't order anything when there's a disturbance. Well, I, I should probably... No, no, it's great. You just go ahead, go home, and uh, work on something. Make another cat. I don't have another cat. <laughs> no, no, make a dog. Make a parakeet. I'm sure you'll think of something. A parakeet? Walter, please, just, just go. Okay. Good night, Mr. DeSantis. Good night, Walter. Wait, Walter. Walter, wait.
Mr. Paisley? Why, certainly, my good woman. Oh, hello, sir. Would you like to buy my cat? How about for $10,000? Okay. Gee, I'll be famous. <laughs> and then I can ask Carla and she'll say yes. I know she will. Hello, Walter. Hi. You're Lou, ain't you? I've seen you down at the yellow door plenty of times. Yes, you have. <laughs> can I come in? Oh, yeah. Come in. Sorry. I was just going to make pancakes, so you can have one if you'd like. Hmm. Did you see my cat? Yeah, I did. I also saw that chick lay this on you. Oh, yeah, that was my old, yeah. She's a really nice girl. She's kind of weird, though. I guess she thinks I get headaches or something. Okay, Walter, who's your connection? Connection? Who do you score from? Where do you get your horse? What are you talking about? Are you sure you don't want a pancake? You can cut the crap. Horse, junk, white stuff. Heroin? Is that what this is? Oh, I've never even seen it before. I thought it was supposed to be really expensive. Um, yeah, Walter, that can be really expensive. Well, wasn't that nice of Maolia then to get me this expensive horse? <laughs> Police officer. Oh, wow! You're, you're like an undercover man! You're under arrest, Walter. Who, me? What are you talking about? Possession of narcotics. I got you cold, Walter. Now just come on in quietly. Oh. Oh. No, Melia just gave me these. I didn't even ask for that. I didn't know what it was, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell them that downtown. Let's go. I I'm not going any place with you. Possession of narcotics isn't something we take lightly, Walter. But you know what? I got a feeling you're going to cooperate with me. Yes, sir, I think that me and you are going to be real good friends. So. Why don't you tell me about your connection? Connection? Look, I'm not looking to pinch you. I don't care about you or the girl. But if you want to save your butt, you better start telling me what I want to hear. Now! Uh, t telling you what? Who's the head honcho? Who's supplying the smack connection? Smack? Where are you from, Mars? Alaska, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Who do you think you're dealing with, huh? I'm willing to give you a break, Chief. Oh, you are? Good old mild-mannered Walter. <laughs> Give it up. It doesn't fly with me. I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to come downtown with me, Walter. You're going to come clean with me. You're going to start naming names. Or I swear to God, I'll see to it personally that you rot in the cell upstate. Are we understanding? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did I do? I got you cold, pal. Make it easy on yourself. Use your head. I didn't do anything wrong. That was the only Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard this song and dance before. Save your breath. You're coming with me. I'm not going any place with you. Don't give me a hard time, Walter. You do not want to make me mad. You're coming with me. I didn't do anything wrong. Walter, do I have to point this at you? Ah. And turn around. Ah. No. Turn around. Put it away. Yes, Please. Turn around. Put it away. Good care of you. 
I can take good care of myself, Mrs. Swicker. Oh, Jack, I can see that. Look at this pad. It looks terrible. Why don't you ever clean it up? And when did you last wash these curtains? The stains in them, are they moving? It looks like they're alive. I'm pretty sure they're not. Uh, Mrs. Swicker, I have some friends coming over after to take a shower, so if you wouldn't mind just, you know, leaving me to do those things, then that would... Why don't you clean up this I will, stuff? I will, I will. Thank you, Miss Swicker. Hope you have a great night. What's the matter with you? Oh. Hey, Mrs. Swicker, you I didn't mean to hurt you, Lou. If you'd have shot me, you'd be mopping up my blood right now. I couldn't help it if I got scared. He's crazy. He's crazy. How'd you do it, Walter? How'd you find it in yourself, Walter? I just took some plaster and fixed it up. He said, go home. He said, make another cat. So I told them, I don't, I don't have another cat. <laughs>